Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Elise Loren, and today's class is a yin class. So we will need two blocks. If you don't have blocks, two rolled up blankets that are about the same size would be perfect. Um, and yin, because we're newer to yin on this platform, yin is a slower, more restorative practice where we stay closer to the ground, we stay supported by our props, and you hold each shape for around five minutes, give or take, so that the body can really release and relax into that pose. Today we are going to start in deer pose. So you'll bring your right shin parallel to the top line of your mat. Then bring your left shin parallel to the left side of your mat, so that your left thigh and your right shin are parallel to each other and the top of your mat. Now I'll turn to face you guys, but stay where you are. From here, we're going to take our blocks over to the right hip. And then from here, you can lower down to your forearms. Now maybe you find that this shape feels okay for you, and you can come all the way down to your forearms on the ground. You can also place a block underneath your sternum and the other block underneath your head. Flip your palms up for more space across your chest. And allow for the ground to hold you here. Again, we're here for five minutes, so if you need to move or adjust, do so in the beginning, so that you can really take in this practice of slowing down and letting go.
Start to deepen your breath. Bring your hands, palms face down on your mat, and gently press yourself up to a seat. Keep your right leg forward. Bring your left leg to the top of your space so that you're in Janu Shirshasana. Place the bottom of your right foot inside your left thigh so it looks like tree legs here. But then send your right knee a bit more outward so that you have a deeper angle here than a right angle between your right ankle and your left inner shin. Grab your blocks. Place your blocks on either side of your left leg. Now sit your sit bones back a little bit here so you're not tucking the tailbone but instead kind of lifting it up. Once again, place your forearms on your blocks. Palms face up. Now your blocks have three heights, so you can be all the way up here and eventually gradually lower yourself down. Your blocks also will be a deeper stretch if they're farther away from your pelvis. It'll be less intense if they are closer to it. So meet yourself where you are. Press your forearms into the blocks so that you can melt your heart a bit here. And then lower your forehead, tuck your chin to your chest without rounding in the upper back. That being said, you can also lower your blocks to their lowest height to get a bit deeper into the stretch. You can also lift your left toes slightly higher up and that will lengthen your hamstrings as well. Settle in and breathe.
slowly lift your head first. Place your palms face down on your blocks and press down to lift yourself up. So good. We'll move on to side two. I'll turn around so we can get into deer together again. Bring your left shin parallel to the top line of your mat. Your right shin parallel to the right side of your mat so that your right thigh and your left shin are parallel to the top line of your mat. Now I'll turn to face you, but stay where you are. Bring your blocks now over to the left side of your hips. Pivot your sternum to that same direction. Now from here, you can stay up on your blocks. You can lower your forearms to the ground. Because we stay for a longer time, I like to prop up. So I'll place one block lengthwise on my sternum and the other block horizontally underneath my forehead. Flip your palms up wherever you choose to go here and release. Let the ground hold you. Flip your palms face down and slowly, slowly press yourself up to a seat. So good. Leave your left leg where it is. Extend your right leg long. Bring the bottom of your left foot inside your right thigh. Frame your right leg with your blocks. Now again, we want this left knee to be slightly outward versus straight forward so that you're opening up your hips a bit here. Now turn your sternum towards your right leg. Lift up through your sternum and fold forward. Place your forearms on your blocks, palms face up. Melt your heart, feel your arm bones plug into your shoulders and then find a release through your head and neck.
For more, you can lower your blocks or lift your right toes up. Bring your hands to your blocks, lift your head first, and then press down to lift up. We're going to bring it down a little bit. Bring both legs forward, have your blocks within reach, and come all the way down to your back. For a supported bridge pose, step your feet sit bone distance apart, and stack your knees over your heels. Walk your shoulder blades closer together. Lift your hips and slide your block underneath your sacrum. So if it's too high up, it'll be in the mushy muscle area. We don't want that. We want that triangular bone at the very base of your tailbone to connect with the block. So it's much lower on your spine. Flip your palms up. If it's available, you can walk your shoulder blades even closer together. And have your block at either its lowest height or its second highest height. Let's stay away from the highest height here for where we're going. We'll stay here for the first half of our time, and then we will extend the legs. In this moment, feel both feet connect to the earth, and breathe deeply. Now start to 
extend one leg at a time forward onto your mat so that you get deeper into lengthening the front of the body. Deepen your breath into your belly so that maybe one day we can use the breath to stretch and lengthen your psoas and iliacus muscles, which are really deep in your pelvis. If this feels weird or uncomfortable, you can always re-bend your knees. To come out, re-bend your knees, place one foot at a time, back to your bridge. Listen carefully here, we're going to lift the heels, lift your hips, lower your block to its lowest height, and slide your block all the way up so that your, the bottom of your shoulder blades connect with the top of the block. And then lower your hips down so that your rib cage rolls over the block. You can lift your arms overhead. You can cactus your arms or keep them by your sides. You can keep your feet on the ground or extend your legs long for chest expansion. Now if this feels like too much, take your second block underneath your head and this will support the shape a bit more. Deepen your breath into the front of your rib cage.
You can stay here. Or plant your feet, lift your hips, and remove the block for your final Shavasana. Today I leave you right here in your final resting pose. Please stay for as long as you'd like. Today I bow to you. Namaste.